Well, Rishi from Drifting here, and you know me, guys, I like my fast RC cars. And this one at JJ Customs, the HPI Racing Trophy Flux Truggy, caught my eye as it looks to be an absolute beast of a car. Anyway, time to get it down on the stand. Let's have a closer look at it. And the HPI Trophy Flux Truggy, just like all of the cars down there at JJ Customs, is out of the box, ready for you to come down. Have a look at, put it up on the stand, take the lid off, exactly as I'm about to do, and see what's inside. So what's your first thoughts on the HPI Racing Trophy Flux Truggy, folks? What's your impression of it? Put it in just one word in the comments section below this video. I am thinking this thing is going to be blisteringly fast and very stable as it is nearly as wide as it is long. Uh, and the, traditionally the HPI flux cars, the brushless ones, go like an absolute rocket. You will note no wheelie bar on the back. We've got a big wing for downforce though. Uh, so it's maybe an indication uh, that this thing doesn't spend too much time with its front wheels in the air. And speaking of that brushless flux motor, guys, it's a 1965K1 that runs on a total of 4S. Okay, straight down the business, boys, with the body off, what have we got? Well, we've got a substantial impact bumper on the front that actually flexes, which is always a good sign. We've got threaded shocks, both front and rear. And note also, we've got the uh, sway bars, both at the front and the rear as well. Plenty of aluminum parts in there, which is always a good sign. Four-wheel drive, fully adjustable suspension geometry, both front and rear as well there, guys. And as I say, there's a better look at the sway bar at the front and the rear. Sorry for moving the camera around too fast there, guys. Moving on back, we've got our steering servo. On the left, a watertight receiver box. Uh, on the left there as well, a centrally mounted uh, differential and that brushless 1965kV motor. On the right, we've got our 4S battery tray, not the twin that Dean's leads. So it will take two 2S packs or with uh, a looper cable, you can fit a single 4S one in there. And there is our brushless ESC on the right hand side. Now you will note all the metal in the chassis guys, but one standout feature is that rear brace. Uh, very much like the car you think you find fitted as an aftermarket part on the Armour RCs. Also note guys, solid metal chassis running the full length of the car. And that wing looks designed for some fairly serious downforce. But as I say, no wheelie bar fitted to the car. Okay, now check out the underside of the car boys. Fairly serious arms at the front there. And check out that metal chassis plate on there. That's designed for some serious bashing there, boys. It screams strength to it, believe me, when you see it there in person. And moving on down, we've got the same sort of substantial A-arms at the rear. Now, time for that all-important suspension test. Let's check the front out to start with. No idea at all what to expect here, guys. Is it going to be a lot? Is it going to be nothing? And we've probably got coming up on a good four and a half to probably five inches closer on there, as you would expect. It is awesomely well sprung and damped. This thing is definitely designed for to bash him with, guys. Anyway, let's check out that rear suspension. Normally a little bit less than the front in terms of rear suspension travel and this car is going to be no different there. Maybe about three and a half inches on there and, but you would expect again supremely well damped and sprung. Now my first thought is boys how well would this do on 4S against my armor telling on 6S. There is a thought in the back of my mind that should be tried out one day. Anyway, give me your thoughts on this car, boys and girls. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Definitely designed for business. Definitely designed to handle well. And I've always loved the uh, brushless power that HBI brings to the table. Always seems very, very genuine in their power outputs. Anyway, I'd love to hear from anyone that's got one of these. If you want one of these cars, it, like every single car sold out down there at JJ Customs in San Jose, is out of the box for you to come down, take it off the shelf, Take the lid off just as I have done before making your purchase decision. Anyway guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more. Well, thumbs up if you like this video guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell. Ideally come down and see the HPI Racing Trophy Flux Truggy in person at JJ Customs. But if you can't do that, then give him a call or send him an email for more details.